Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that do hair follicles or urine or both. We're going to be asking if they can help you guys in the SAP program. A lot of you guys that end up in the SAP program need help with the return to duty status. And in order to do that, you will need to get with a company that is willing to do all of your return to duty drug testing. Okay. With that said, I have made the call to a lot of these companies to see if they can help you. If this is something that can help you out, make sure you hit that like button because it does help the algorithm and it does help get this information out to a lot more drivers that needs to know which one of these companies out here that will be right for them. Also, please hit that subscribe button as well. And if you guys have any suggestions, let us know in the comments below. I'm just doing research. That's all. Doing research on a on a on a Monday morning for a stuck company is not good. So are you even are you a class A CDL driver? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. So what questions did you have? For onboarding process for drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Why would you ask that question? Because it's part of my research. Okay, well, and I will say that that's not a good question because it's going to leave carriers. And so my question is, can you pass a hair follicle? Yes. As part of my research questions, that's part of my questions that I normally ask all, re all recruiters. Let me, let me stop you because it sounds like this is going in the wrong direction because I haven't had no residual problems with any other carriers that I have called before you. Okay. So only thing I'm doing is just asking questions and just putting it in my research so that I can add everything up. Is that okay? Okay. Is that okay? So my answer is you have my answer is you have to be open to to either. Okay. Not a problem. Okay, good. How much experience do you guys require? Six solid months of over the road away from a trainer. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're Bye -bye. welcome. National carriers, everybody. <laughs> Listen, guys, guys, when you do your research and when you call to ask questions and you run into recruiters like that, those are the recruiters that you just want to just put on a bypass. Because if they're giving you problems or giving you a hard time with the answers to your questions, to your questions, then that might not be the company for you, okay? Is why would I ask that? Why would anybody ask anything? Because they would like to know. That's why, that's why. Maybe I might have an issue with the hair follow test or anything like that. That's the main question. A lot of you guys out here do have issues with the hair follicle test. And I get it. And that is one of the questions that you guys want to know about. Hey, do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? Yes or no? You you don't need no other why this and why that and, and why. You don't need all of that. Yes or no? Why would you ask that? I'm asking because I would like to know. I'm doing research. That's what I'm doing. I'm a new driver. So if you guys come across recruiters like that, then you you might want to keep it moving. Just saying. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get on. That's R U A N transportation but what i did get from them they don't accept sap drivers they need about six months to a year of experience and during onboarding they just do urinalysis for the onboarding so if you guys are interested in ruan 
That's R-U-A-N. Definitely give them a call. The information for them will be in the description below. Do you mind if I have a couple of minutes of your time? What is it about? Class A CDL driving position. I'm a truck driver. Okay, perfect. Yep, I sure can help you then. I just want to make sure I got you with the right person. Okay, so for onboarding, drug screening, what do you guys do? Urine or hair follicles or both? Urine. Urine. How much experience do I need? So we could train you if you have less than two years experience. Otherwise, it's two years experience to go out on your own right away. My last question is, do you guys accept SAP drivers? Um, so what, what part are you on? Because we do, but um, they want you to be completely through it and all your testing done. Okay. Thank you very much, right. ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. I did go to the website, and I did notice on the website that you guys are offering a new pay package. Can you explain that to me, please? Well, they adjusted the, the, the drivers are paid based off of how much over the road tractor experience they've had. Um, you had to have at least a full six months last year or more uh, to be considered. Um, so the more experience you have that we can verify within the last 10 years, the higher the pay. You start out at 57 cents for six months up to 63 for 10 years for dry van or 65 for refrigerated. For onboarding, the drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Urine. You did mention about how much experience that a person needs. So the, the less experience is what, six months or is it a year? You have to have a minimum of six months. Driving by yourself in 2023. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? You have to have completed it, the program, over five years ago. Very good, ma'am. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. Let's talk about J&R Swoogle, y'all. Did y'all hear that? The new pay package? They start you off at 57 cents a mile. Oh, if you got like... 10 years of experience, they'll start you off in the 60s, man. This is a game changer since I worked it for JR Shrugal. I started at JR Shrugal at 45 cent a mile, y'all. 45 cent a mile. And and I and I was getting extra for promoting them. But man, this is a game changer. 57 cent a mile. But I'm I'm going to assume that it's going to be a little bit more of a criteria to get in with them. So if you guys got a clean background and y'all work and if you got some experience more than three months or more than six months in the last year by yourself, then you are able to come in and get 57 cent per mile. A little bit more if you drive in reefer. So, man, game changer. J&R Swoogle. I, I got finished talking to a driver maybe about a week ago. And he explains to me that you guys are up under the Warner banner now. Does that have any significance of me still coming on board with ECM or do I got to go through Warner as far as coming on board? No. So um, we are partnered with Warner Enterprises, but we still operate as our own entity. So we do all of our own like onboard hiring. So if you if you apply here, you're applying to ECM. So during onboarding, which you just mentioned, the drug screening process, is it urine or hair follicles or both? So it, it's a urine test. How much experience do you guys require? So you have to have at least one year of verifiable driving or experience with a certificate from a truck driving school or two years of verifiable driving. And it just has to be class A. Do you guys accept drivers? We do not. We, we have the same policy as Warner, so we're a no-tolerance facility. Since you just mentioned that, what do you mean by that, no-tolerance? Like. So that it basically means that if you if you have ever failed a drug screen, that unfortunately it wouldn't meet our qualifications. Very good, ma'am. Thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome.
Yep, you have a good day. You too now. Bye-bye. I got I got one easy question that's probably going to shorten all this up. We're a smaller company, and uh, so our insurance dictates to us that our drivers that we hire have uh, two years of two hundred thousand miles of over the road experience. That was one of my questions. I have two. Okay. I have two more. Is it is it cool are that they I easy or are they hard? No, they're easy. All right, here we go. Easy questions. Doing on right. doing onboarding process. Do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? That is a very unique question. Mom, so we just do urine. Urine. And my last question is, do you guys accept SAP drivers? Oh, what's that? SAP drivers. Drivers that's that? drivers that's are in the clearinghouse, a SAP program, step six. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I do not. No. Nope. Okay. Very good, sir. Thank you very much, okay. man. I appreciate yeah. your time. No problem. Thanks for calling. All right. Now, double R out of Michigan, out of Michigan smaller company looking for two-year drivers so drivers if you got that two years in that amount that you might be looking for might be with double r fortunately sap drivers again they won't be able to help you and their onboarding process is urine so if drivers got about two years of experience and they're looking for a company that just does urinalysis double r is that company to look at and see if that'll be the company for you. Who's next?